Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, we, I, as I told you in our previous lecture, that we'll be discussing some previous year questions, right? So today in this lecture, I brought two previous year questions, guys. One is for forms, and the other is for table. Okay, so these two are the previous year question pa question paper problems or the programs you can say. Okay, so here the given question is create a form using HTML to accept the details of a student. Okay, so the main goal of the form is to accept some details from the students. Those are nothing but name of the hotel. Okay, I think they went to some event. So they are asking about the hotel event. So you, you need to assume like that because he will not be giving you some theory like like two to three pages or some kind of theory to understand and you need to write the code. There is nothing like that. He'll be giving you an outline. You need to just make a dummy for that. Okay, so name of the hotel. He is asking about the items, a checkbox. So you don't know what are the items. You might be assuming them as food items or whatever you want. Anything you assume and you keep it. Okay. Similarly, he is asking for quantity, like how many number of people will be in the room. And he is asking for rating with radio buttons, feedback and an attachment of some kind of image or file. Okay. So I think I didn't, <laughs> I didn't notice this quantity. I think I didn't consider the quantity guys. Okay. So you can assume that also. So I think uh, I did it in this way. Let me zoom it. Okay, so I, I gave a heading, I took the name of the hotel, then I gave a selection for items, so I took the items inside the hotel room guys, like we will be having in some hotels, we will be having AC and freezer also, so I took whether it is not there or not there, then I took the rating from 5 to 1, this is only you can select 1, here you can select multiple, and here I took a text area for writing the description, and at the end I took a file button so you can choose a file and you can upload it and you can submit it okay so one once you read the question you should get an idea like that so basically you need to assume okay the name of the hotel okay let me zoom it out okay so the name of the hotel then you need some items to place them in the checkbox so you need to analyze it okay so once the analyzing is done you will start writing the code so initially we will be using html5 only so make sure you are writing this doc type is html okay so after that you will be starting with html head and title so it is saying about some student details so write the title as student details so it depends on your wish guys there is no force that you should use that only it depends on your wish okay okay after that you will be closing the head you will be closing the body so after that i kept a neat heading that that is nothing but we are collecting the student details okay so we, we are collecting the student details so here i started the form if you remember in our previous lecture we have discussed how we can make these kind of forms to collect data from the user okay so initially you will be taking shall i explain you in detail guys okay let, let give me a second i'll be trying to explain you in detail okay so basically your requirement is this right so assume this is your requirement so initially you try to find out what is your requirement okay just just give me a second okay I think the image is clear now. Okay, it's a, it's a bit uh, blurry, but okay, I, I, I hope everyone can uh, observe it. I'll be reading it, don't worry. So I gave a heading here. So after that, what is this guys? We need to specify the name of the hotel, right? So name of the hotel, I'll be giving it in label as usual. We know that we'll be giving that in label and this below we need a text area or you can say that a single line text will be enough. So the input type will be text. Okay, after that again a label, select item in the hotel okay after that we are having two check boxes because you in a single hotel room you might be having both ac and freezer also in some you might be having only freezer in some might you will be having only ac like that it depends in some you may not be having both okay so it depends so that is the reason why i took here check box instead of radio button in radio button you need to select only one and it is mandatory to select one okay and similarly select rating so select rating we give five ratings that is one two three four five after that so here i used label again and here we used the radio buttons so that is the reason why it is circle there whereas in above case it is checkbox so it is a square okay similarly i used the text area to show this uh, feedback you can write some uh, feedback there guys after that i used file type as file to choose a file okay so now let us go through the code guys Okay, so initially I wrote a label to select the hotel name. Okay, let me zoom out. Sorry for that. Okay, so initially I took the hotel name as the label. So it will be printing the exact thing. 
after that i printed the text box that is nothing but input type is nothing but text and i am giving a name as hotel name so in hotel name the hotel name will be stored okay so i, I gave two line breaks after that again i wrote the label of next item and i wrote the checkbox for item ac and the checkbox for freezer okay so the same syntax guys which we have discussed in our previous lecture that is the same syntax i have used here similarly then i am trying to select the rating so i gave the rating 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 because here you are having two different items so the name should be different right so there is an option that he can select both the items whereas in rating he will be selecting only one so that is the reason why you can give the name as only same name so whatever he will be selecting that will be stored in rating okay further continuing and again i gave a line break so after that i gave a feed feedback so i gave a, a any size or random text box text area so here we, we got some small text area you can extend it guys so try writing the code if you are free you'll be getting three lines like this at the right bottom so if you place your cursor it will be coming in this way so you can enlarge it as much as you want you can write there is no issue or there is no limit in it okay so after that i took the input files guys i think i forgot about file type type is equals to file in our previous lecture so please remember from here okay okay at the end i just drawn i just gave a submit button to just submit okay okay so this is a small program which is given in our exam for five marks guys okay okay so now let us go through one more program so this program is about creating a table as per the given requirement okay so here the requirement is given so the thing is really simple guys don't get scared that here there is two columns or two rows how he converted into one or here how he converted into one how he converted four into one so don't think like that just be cool and you understand the concept behind it okay so basically if you notice here just times i'll be saying you some tricks guys please listen carefully so in subject so in subject you are having a big box right so instead of two small boxes you are having one big box right so what are these small boxes in what format they are so they are in a row right so in first row you need to have one box in second row you need to have one box but you are having in that row you are having only one box for both so that is nothing but here row span has occurred guys so row span that is also for how many boxes two boxes so please write it down somewhere so that you will be clear so again here here if you observe it happened for like this so here it should be one here it should be one so this happened in column so here this is nothing but column span so if you understand what it is happening it's clear you can write the code simply and easily guys okay so further moving on at the end it became four pieces four pieces they became one right so here also that is column so that we will be writing call span equal to four okay so once you get an idea about this so now you will be thinking of how you can construct a table so the first thing you will be starting with the table okay so inside a table you will be defining the first row guys guys if you are having any confusion or doubt here please watch the tables lecture and come back here because in tables lecture i took one or two examples and i explained in detail why we are thinking in this way also i have explained you okay so once you will be taking tr table row the first row so we are having four headings so four headings means you will be writing th the first heading name and you'll be closing the first th similarly you will be doing for more three times and now you are done with the headings so the row one has completed so in row two in row two you are having the first value it is common that is nothing but table data you wrote x y z and you closed it in the second row in the second column you can if you notice we are having math that is two two rows two columns we have combined sorry we did row span right so i will not be saying that two columns or two rows because it will be a confusion for you okay so we done row span equal to two so inside this td write to row span equal to two math so it will be converting the math into two two blocks into one block okay so similarly you will be writing four and 35 as usual so you will be closing the tr okay and you open the tr for the next row that is this for this guys u v w okay so if you notice here in this step we will be writing for uvw max is already filled so you will be filling 4 and 66 so you will be filling only three values here just give me a second okay so here you will be filling only three values uvw 4 and 6 66 sorry okay clear yes so we will be again giving that we are closing that row again we will be moving on to the next row so if you notice in next row we are having two normal values abc and science so without any issue you will be directly writing abc and science Whereas for column span, for column span, we will be doing here. Basically, why you are doing column span, we discussed. Because two column blocks are combined into one. 
so that is the reason why you will be doing column span okay so you will be column span equal to 2 that is equals to 5 you will be storing the value 5 in this column so that is the reason why first only we discovered what we should do because it will be easy for us okay so further moving on in the last step if you notice we combined all into one okay so that we will we need only one step right td call span equal to 4 student details mentioned above so you will be closing all the output all the tags and you will be ending up with your output so once you run you will be getting the required exact output so i think okay can this image is also too small okay so i think it's clear right okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea on this so in the next lecture we will be starting about css guys so let us meet in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching